Are you uh, surprised at what it, what things are coming out with Diddy at all, or are you like you have no idea? It's none of my business. You'll live long. Uh, I believe he's being targeted. You believe he's being targeted? Yeah, he, I believe <clears throat> you know somebody you know has the power to pull the trigger. Cat Williams just trotted Ice Cube's attempt to navigate the trenches of hell after Ice Cube's appearance to support Diddy's assertions that didn't really carry out any of the offenses he is being charged with and the essay. Cases and accusations brought against him include everything is a Hollywood storyline, executives to ruin a great deal of many were deeply let down when they saw that Ice was ranting about this, but they weren't shocked since in contrast to what some of you believe to be distant from Ice Cube, from the disregarded both him and the creators of the Friday after next, instead of attempting to humiliate him for not wanting to take on some portions of the film that glorified S.A. Yet it seems that Ice hasn't altered much since then because he's still protecting folks out here. As Diddy in attempting to change the situation of Diddy's decline into some unfounded conspiracy theory as an alternative to admitting he was a terrible guy. What precisely did he say about Diddy and do the rumors also pertain to him? Being one of the gatekeepers in the business. All right, let's get straight in. All right. As the most of you are already aware of Diddy's. Since November, everything has been in disarray. Of the previous year, when Cassie revealed a dramatic lawsuit describing the abuse and recurrent incidents that she endured throughout her time with him. Since then, several parties have sued him. Other individuals, such as a male musician, producer who charged him of sabotaging both. Christian and Jess, two of his sons, have also even been implicated in a Christian battling what seemed to be his own saw lawsuit. So that the apple didn't fall too close to the tree Diddy's residences were broken into by Homeland Security, as well as in the videos exposed by the media, the feds were seen departing from his homes with several boxes that some thought contained proof of Diddy's transgressions, in addition to that CNN made their major move when they loosened a few cords, revealing an unsettling footage showing Diddy placing his touches Cassie in a hotel after one of the renowned freak-off sessions that he had her partake in for more than 10 decades. And the absurd thing is that Diddy went on lying in an attempt to show us that he was innocent, but once the video was released, he emerged and was ultimately compelled to mature some balls and acknowledge his current actions. You would assume after seeing him on video, assaulting Cassie there in the hotel together. Considering the several lawsuits, would he's finally being accepted for who he is yet? Sadly, some people still exist who believe Ice Cube is innocent and he is. In actuality, Candace Owens was one of them, really among the first individuals to doubt Diddy's motivations for litigation as soon as his possessions were raided, she sent the following tweet. Right now, the feds are searching Diddy's house. They were already aware of his activities, too, but he will be the tiny father person in order to safeguard the populace. They are raiding at the top of the ring, his house to conceal evidence rather than locate it. That's the current way this works, notwithstanding. If there's some validity to what she, she was making it seem to be Diddy's. Victims are dishonest saying they just a piece of jewelry in a large Hollywood scheme that isn't accurate at this time. Regarding Ice Cube, he didn't merely ascribe Diddy's present decline to the same industry ploy to Candace's speaking about. He disregarded the victims and said Diddy was acting in a assembled ice, totally ignored the victims portraying Diddy as an chaste man. Is that what, what things are coming out with Diddy at all? Or are you like, you have no idea, it's none of my business, you'll live long. Is that <laughs> kind of like the mindset? I, I'm, um, I mean, surprise. How could you be surprised with anything that happens in hip hop? 
you know, it's hip hop is the wild west. So you're gonna have the good, you're gonna have the bad, you're gonna have the ugly. You think he's being targeted or some of the stuff he's got, you know, there's credibility on what they're coming after him with the tapes and the feds and rating his Miami home, his LA home? Uh, I believe he's being targeted. You believe he's being targeted? Yeah. He, I believe, <clears throat> you know, somebody, you know, has the power to pull the trigger to make, you know, this stuff, this domino effect happen. Oh, but his actions didn't end there. He continued to dismiss Diddy's victims and classified everything about it is pure conjecture despite the fact that there's more than sufficient proof that is just a just a few months before there was only video of his causing hurt cassie who was freed if a mere video clip is insufficient then i'm not sure what is true so you don't think uh uh, uh you know shook said you can say what you want about diddy but Diddy didn't learn to like young boys. He learned it from a man named Clive Davis. He threw Clive Davis in there. You, you, it doesn't sound like you're part of that camp. You're part of the camp that you think he's being targeted. You know, I don't, I don't know enough to even be able to, to uh, be specific on any of this stuff. It's just all speculation. I just know. He was cool up until a point, and then this, this stuff started happening. So I, I believe somebody, you know, like I said, uh, said, yo, he's our new guy. We on t- this year. Maybe people weren't supposed to be here. Any of this chaos, and they pulled him along. One individual commented, oh, please, for filth. Oh, she Jackson quit talking rubbish, even in despite all of this evidence to the contrary. Diddy, are you still planning to say those? Words, guy. You're much too experienced, Bert. Someone another said that the darn Q is totally wrong, Mel. all. He doesn't offer 50 in here. A F as individuals were entering on ice. Several others pointed out the fact that that Cat Williams alerted us to the following. Ice Cube's Hollywood side was really during during his conversation with Shannon Sharp before this year, if you guys recall that the cat called Ice Cube a weirdo when he said that the producers and himself had Friday following next for attempting to compel him into recording a scenario in which he gets slapped by Terry Crews as they believed a scenario in which a black guy is raped was supposed to be humorous cast declared that he was fiercely opposed to this and informed Ice Cube and the producers couldn't possibly was planning to record it because there nothing at all humorous about someone being Ed Cat also discussed how he was terrified as this was the first acting job he had and he didn't want to provide the incorrect impression with his excessive demands the money Mike in the original script got in the bathroom and that's what Ricky Smiley was okay with Cat Williams had to take the risk in front of the studio and the cast and our powers that be in his very first movie and say respectfully humbly guys if we talking about anything else I have no credibility and I have no pull but we talking about comedy right where I have all the credibility and all the pull the problem with Friday After Next is we're trying to make a classic comedy. And this comedy involves and is never funny, no matter who it happens to or what the circumstances are. If you would allow me to allow us to do this movie without a black man getting in it, I promise you that it will be twice as funny as it would be with him getting so considering that's the real story, why would you bring up that story? 35 members of the cast and crew have never brought up that Ricky Smiley was going to play Money Mike. No one ever saw me put on a Santa Claus suit. We got a wardrobe department. They made a Santa Claus suit for me. Why that wasn't in the... Additionally, he stated he have to completely redo the film because there were too many explicit details such as 
this and it didn't make him very pleased. I wrote it. What I'm saying, I'm saying if I did it and I did a good job at it, you can thank me. I was involved. Right. I'm not gonna come later on and tell you, I never even read the whole script. So how you know what roles, what? What do you mean you never read the <laughs> Like, you, like, these guys whole job is to present something, unfortunately. And I'm just not a presenter. If you ask me a question, I'm just gonna tell you the truth for how- What makes this even more absurd is that Terry Crews would, in your opinion, join Kat as well and attempt to communicate sanely into the producers and Ice Cube. But he was really attempting to compel Kat to acting out the part when he gets raped by. After this horrible experience, he too exclaimed, Kat experienced being shunned and everything. The films he was meant to direct ended up given to Kevin Hart since he was ready to do almost everything without making any adjustments to the scripts. I had a lot of conversation that this was your opportunity and you needed to seize this moment. Terry had the benefit of having been in some very high profile situations already and took L's. Like he had been in the league, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He 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 had um, done pro wrestling. He had done a lot of things. He had been televised and some things that hadn't worked. Right. And this was just fortuitous for him. And now you know what nobody has ever said in the whole industry in 20 years about, you know, the whole money might not get in the bathroom. Right. So I understood going in that there's no reason I lost every for a five year period. Every single movie that Kevin Hart did was a movie that had been on my desk that all I had said was just can we take some of this step and fetch it out and then I can do it like it don't need to be overtly homosexual because I'm not homosexual. Right. It doesn't need that right. to be funny. Right. Mm -hmm. And and me saying that and them going, oh, yeah, no problem. And then going to give it to this other guy and having him do it just like it was and acting like I'm a bad person because I keep standing on my standard. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's interesting, but I, I wouldn't change it for the world. Presently. Following this, individuals began to go off on. The heat became so intense for Ice Cube that he ultimately uploaded a nine minute video. Video as a reaction to the cat he accused of fabricating claims that the whole a film and said that the cat was just permitted to make a few small adjustments to aid in improving the script. Shoot the script. And once we get what we need from the script, we let the comedians ad lib riff you know play with the words do they thing you know we give them a take where they can or two three takes where they can go off and do what they feel um you know sometimes it makes the movie sometimes it don't you know when somebody gives you jewels you want to uh, try to make sure that makes the movie nonetheless ice wasn't finished However, he also questioned the existence of any sequence in which Cat gets saw and unexpectedly revealed that the cat made it. He said he had nothing in his brain. Memory of that segment ever being in the movie and that feline most likely recall. Everything is incorrect. Second thing I want to clear up. It was never, I would never shoot a scene uh, in a movie, especially like Friday, um, where you actually see this happening on camera. That ain't my style. If you check out any of my movies, they not raunchy. Um, you know, we did a movie called Players Club where the subject matter was a little raunchy, but, but for the most part, um, even that, we, we left it to your imagination, so. The only reason that kind of stuff was in the movie is because you have three villains in Friday After Next. You have Santa Claus, still in presence. You have Damon, just got out of prison, uh, sweating, Craig and Daddy for the rent money. And then you have Money Mike, you know, that treats his woman uh, 
you know, like a property. Everybody's career, you know, we we would listen to a certain extent, but we wasn't gonna change the movie for, it, for any actor, you know. We we do what we feel, and if, if it was a scene, it would have been in the movie. Um, there was no reason not to shoot it. <laughs> but that's not my style. I don't even like that kind of... People were skeptical of anything that Ice, Hugh said, and they most certainly don't. Since he just defended himself, trust him now. Diddy essentially revealed to the world what? His side is very regrettable, that the victims of Diddy must continue to hear such things from individuals in particular. Ice Cube continues to remain popular even after shown they had proof, which makes sense. Diddy managed to escape punishment for as long as regular individuals had their own. Ideas around this, such as this individual who said Ice Cube once, not too long ago, was speaking as if he was an expert and was intending to reveal the whole sector and Hollywood, which never really occurred. And he doesn't know anything right now, okay? Someone other said that he speaks with a does he have any dirt on him and is scared? In any case, he doesn't speak with the same. Someone with tidy hands, Ice Cube, what's up? Dude, but I'd want to know now what your ideas, what are your thoughts on Ice? Defending Diddy, what do you guys think? Actually, Diddy is innocent, you guys be what? Please share your opinions with me in the remark area below, and please don't. Remember to visit this link to see this other really sloppy video.